Hi guys, welcome to Excel and MathSci. Today we'll be looking at how to complete a square. And what I would do initially, I would just open up the brackets like so and put a subtraction sign there, open a bracket, and then this part here, just if it's an addition, plus sign there, if it's a subtraction, you just put a subtraction. Now then what I would do, I would just bring the X down and I would just put the power over here. They bring the sign down as well. Now this bit here, the 4x. Now I drop the x and just half the 4, which will be 2. And then that same number I place in here and I square it. Then I tidy up and I say x plus 2, all squared. And 2 squared will be 4, and of course you've got a minus sign there, so that will be a minus 4, plus 25. And then that would come down to x plus 2, all squared, plus 21. Okay, and that would be my final answer. Okay, let's have a look at another one here. So we've got x squared plus 8x plus 9, so once again, Open your brackets, like so. Put your 9 at the end there. Remember to put the square around the bracket. So bring your x down. And bring the sign down, which is plus. So you just keep whatever the sign is between x squared and the 8x. And then you just half the coefficient of x, which is 4. So And we place the 4 in here as well. So then, you just say x plus 4, all squared, and then you have minus, so that 4 squared will be 16, plus 9. The final answer will be x plus 4, all squared, minus 16 plus 9, will be minus 7. And that would be my final answer. Now let's have a look at this one. Now this time we've got a odd number, so let's see what happens. So once again, you'd fo follow the exact same procedure, nothing changes. So and just put your plus 8 here, square these brackets, bring the x down, that will just be x. Now you have to half the 3, so that will be just 3 over 2, so in other words just divide it by 2. And then I do the same here. And I square it. Then I get x plus 3 over 2 all squared. And if I square this, and remember to square the top and the bottom, so that will give me minus 9 over 4 plus 8. Now if I want to convert 8 into a fraction, so I'll just show you. So we just write that as 8 over 1. And then the denominator is 4, so we multiply the top and the bottom by 4. And that will give me x plus 3 over 2 all squared minus 9 over 4 plus... Now 8 times 4 gives me 32 over 4. So that's me converted that into a fraction. So my final answer would be, I'll just take that over here. That would be x plus 3 over 2, all squared, now minus 9 plus 32. So that's a negative, so in other words, it'll be 32 subtract 9, in other words. So that will be plus 23 over 4. And that would be my final answer. Okay guys, let's look at another one here. So we've got x squared plus 5x minus 3. Once again, like I said, so all you do is you open your bracket, and that would be a minus. And so you put your x here, you bring the sign, which is a plus. You half the coefficient in front of the x. In other words, divide it by 2. And that's, that's what we do here. And we square them. Then you get x plus 5 over 2 all squared. Now if I square this, I get 25 over 
4 minus 3. And remember to change the 3 uh, with a denominator 4, so we just do 3 over 1. So we multiply the top and the bottom by 4. So then we get x plus 5 over 2 all squared minus 25 over 4. And this would be minus, so that's 3 times 4 is 12. That will be 12 over 4. And the final answer would be x plus 5 over 2 all squared minus 25 uh, minus 12 over 4. So minus 25 over 4 minus 12 over 4. Now that will give me a negative answer, so that would be minus 37 over 4 and that would be my final answer okay guys here's another three examples now this time we have a negative in front of the x squared term how do we deal with that well what we'll do i'll rewrite this as negative x squared plus 2x plus 4 so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the minus out and factor out the minus 1 basically. So that would then give me x squared. Now, because I'm taking a minus out, this, would, this sign will become minus 2x. And I'll keep my 4 out as follows. Next step would be, so that's x squared. So what I would do, I would bring my x down, bring my sign down, and that would be then halving the 2 would give me 1, squaring that, subtracting the minus 1, all squared, and of course that will be plus 4 outside the square bracket. So this time I'm just going to tidy up everything, so that will give me x minus 1, all squared, that gives me minus 1, plus 4. Now what I do, I just bring the minus in now and multiply, basically multiply everything within the bracket by minus 1. So that would give me x minus 1 all squared. That minus times that minus will give me a plus 1, plus 4. And this would give me x minus 1 all squared plus 5 and that would be my final answer let's look at this one now once again I'll rewrite it as follows and that would be minus 7x plus 5 so I factor out the negative and put that into square bracket that will give me x squared remember to flip the sign that will be plus 7x Close a bracket plus 5. Now, once again, what we do, we just follow the same procedure. So I open the two brackets. Okay, these are the curved brackets here we're talking about. And we put a square around those brackets. Just put a plus 5 out here. Now bring my x down. Keep that sign, which is plus. Bring that down. Half the 7. In other words, divide it by 2, so it'll be 7 over 2. So this would be 7 over 2, all squared, plus 5. So then the next line would be x plus 7 over 2, all squared. Now if I square this, remember guys to square the top and the bottom. Generally you find the students just square at the top and forget uh, to square the denominator. So that would be 49 over 4 and that would be plus 5 now if I bring my negative sign in in other words distribute this negative sign so that will give me x plus 7 over 2 all squared plus negative times a negative gives me a positive so that will be plus 49 over 4 now if I convert this into a fraction, so 5 over 1 um, with a denominator 4, that would be plus 20 
over 4. Then this would, my final answer would be x plus 7 over, well, minus x plus 7 over 2 all squared plus 69 over 4. And that would be my final answer. Let's look at the next one. Now, why don't you pause the video and just try the third one and see if you get the right answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this and see if you've got the right answer. So that would be minus x squared minus 10x plus 10. Once again, I take my minus out and that would give me x squared plus 10x plus 10. Next step would be to open my brackets inside here, which will be, and of course, square them, subtract, close this bracket and add 10. Bring my x down, which will be just x, half the 10. And of course, keeping that sign there, that would be half of 10. This, of course, is 5. And what I do, I square my 5 here as well. So now I just tidy up. So that's x plus 5 all squared minus 25 plus 10. Now what I do, I just bring my negative sign in, multiply everything by minus 1. In other words, this minus here. So that would be x plus 5 all squared minus 25 plus 10. So that will simply give me minus bracket x plus 5 all squared. That should be a plus here. So that will be plus 35. And that would be my final answer. Okay guys, let's look at another set of examples. This time we have the coefficient in front of the x squared term, the leading coefficient, is greater than 1. Okay, how do we deal with these ones? Well, it's exactly the same way. So what we're going to do first, I mean, if I look at this, I can take a common factor out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to deal with this as follows. So I would take the 5 out. Open my square bracket. Then that would give me x squared plus 2x plus 20. So the next step would be, of course, then I need to open my brackets inside here and just complete the square. So I would bring the x down and bring the sign down, which is a plus half the 2, the coefficient of x, which is 1. Square that, then subtract the 1 squared, of course, and add the 20. So and then that would give me, so I'd take 5, that would be x plus 1, all squared, and of course that's minus 1 plus 20. Now what I do, I bring the 5 in now, I remove these square brackets, so that will give me 5, x plus 1, all squared, 5 times minus 1 will give me minus 5, plus 20. So the final answer will be x, so it'll be 5, x plus 1, all squared, negative 5 plus 20, 20 is plus 15 and that would be my final answer. Let's look at this one here. So once again, we do the same thing. So I can take, factor out the 2. So you always factor out what's in front of the x squared term. Okay, so we factor out the 2. Then we're left with x squared minus 3x plus 5. And then what we do, we just open the brackets inside. 
and remember to square the brackets, okay? These ones here, that'll be plus five. So this will be x, bring my x down, bring the sign down, which is a negative. Now I have the three, in other words, it'll be three over two, so I divide it by two. And this would be three over two, all squared. Okay, so that so the next part would be so it would be two. So that'd be x minus three over two, all squared. Now I square this. That's nine over four plus five. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my two and remove the square bracket. So I'll get that would be 2x minus 3 over 2, all squared. Now I need to multiply 9 over 4 by 2. So that will simply give me just 9 over 2. That's plus 5. Now if I convert 5 into a fraction with a denominator of 2, that will be 10 over 2. So that will be x minus 3 over 2, all squared, and that would be minus 9 over 2 plus 10 over 2. So my final answer would be 2x minus 3 over 2, all squared, minus, sorry, plus, because that's bigger, so that would be 1 over 2, and that would be my final answer. Now let's look at the final one. Now this time we're going to have a fraction in here because of the uh, 9 being an odd number. So if I go ahead and do that and take my x here, so that's x squared, and that will be plus 9 over 2. And that's 9 over 2 because I've taken 2 as a um, factor here. And that will be minus 3. So once again, I go ahead and open two brackets. So that would be x minus, uh, sorry, x plus 9. Now it will be, so if I divide this, half this, that will be 9 over 4. That will be all squared minus 9 over 4, all squared that would be minus 3. So then the next line would be as follows. So that would be x plus 9 over 4, all squared. And then that would be, if I square that, that's 81. So that's minus 81 over 16 minus 3. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring my 2 in. So that would be 2x plus 9 over 4 all squared. And that will be minus 81 over 8 minus 3. If I convert 3 into a fraction, this would simply be x plus 9 over 4 all squared that's minus 81 over 8 and if I convert that into a fraction that would be 24 over 8 and this would be then 2x plus 9 over 4 all squared so that would be minus 105 over 8 and that would be my final answer. Okay guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you for watching.